everybody. Welcome to Soul Food. This is Bo Sanchez, and if you've seen me before, you must have read some Catholic magazines like Soul Food magazine, Kerygma, Didache, Gabai, Companion. And I'm very happy to be here to give you the Word of God, to share with you the joy of the Lord and the love of Jesus Christ. It is my privilege to be here and to share with you what God wants for your life this Holy Week. Alam nyo, almusal, tanghalian, hapunan, pinapakain natin, sarili natin pag nagugutom tayo. Our physical bodies are fed. This show is entitled Soul Food because your soul needs food as well. You need to be nourished in your spirit. If you do not nourish your spirit, your inner man, magkakasakit yan. It will perish. It will weaken. But you, you have something within you that God says it is the Spirit of God and the Spirit of God can supply all that you need. I want you to pray with me this evening. I want you to pray for the Holy Spirit to come and to bless you. Sana kausapin ka ng Diyos. Sana maranasan mo ng isang sariwang paraan ang matamis at wagas na pag-ibig ng Diyos para sa iyo. Magdasal tayo sandali. Sa ngala ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Panginoon, be here with us. Bless us. Let your word come and be alive in our midst. Totoo, Panginoon, nourish, nourish our soul. In Jesus' name, Amen. Brothers and sisters, I want to share with you about the concept of the show. Nung nag-usap-usap kami tungkol sa show na to, ang naisip namin, magkaroon ng retreat on the air. Alam nyo, I, I'm sure you've, you've, you've uh, experienced that when you were students, when we were in school. Nagkakaroon tayo ng mga retreat. And we didn't pay too much attention about these retreats. But along the way, nung nag-graduate ka na, nung nagtatrabaho ka na, you experience a need sa bilis ng takpo ng buhay, parang gusto mo nang, teka muna, hinto muna ako, magpapahinga muna ako, magtatanong ako kung saan ba ako pupunta. We, we have that need in us. Ito yung dahilan, yung layunin ng programang ito. We want to experience a certain rest, a pause in our spirit, and say, teka muna, saan ba ako pupunta? Wala tayong pera para magkaroon ng totoong retreat sa on the air na dalawang araw. Mauubos yung pera natin, mahal yung airtime. But maski isang oras lang, bigyan natin yung Diyos ng isang panahon para makipag-usap sa atin, para magkwentuhan tayo, magbidahan tayo sa Kanya. Are you very busy in life? You know, daming responsibilities. I have a wife. I have a newborn son. May trabaho ka. Can you stop right now and ask God to tell you if you're moving in the right direction? I want you to experience the voice of God in a very clear, real way, sa puso mo. Asking God and saying, Lord, teka muna, bigyan mo ako ng isang vision, isang clear purpose for my life. Alam niyo mga kapatid, alam naman natin ito eh, kailangan, kailangan natin ulit-ulitin lang eh. Ano ba yung dahilan ng buhay? Is it money? Is it to have all sorts of achievement? Is it pleasure? Is it fame? Is it to have a nice luxurious car? Magkaroon ng malaking bahay? Hindi, na, hindi ko na kailangan sabihin ito eh, kasi alam na alam mo na yan. Deep in your heart, alam mo that the only thing that can make you happy is love. If you receive love from the King of all kings and the Lord of all, if you believe in your heart na mahal ka ng Diyos at tinatanggap mo rin ang pag-ibig ng mga ibang tao na imperfect, imperfect, pero tinatanggap mo rin. If you receive that love from God and from other people, that is what satisfies your heart. Not the wealth, not the money. Pag may kapayapaan ka sa puso, dun mo masasabing tama yung direksyon mo. Tama yung pinupuntahan ko. And then go ahead, go at 130 kilometers per hour. Pero kung hindi mo alam saan ka papunta, uminto ka muna. We're going to have a few guests tonight and they're going to share their lives to you. They're going to open up their hearts. They're going to let you in. And they're going to say, Halika, paso ka. Ikikwento ko yung buhay ko sa iyo. These people are people you know, some you don't know. Some of them are in showbiz, some are not in showbiz. But they will share from, your, from their hearts. Their hearts to your heart. 
I want you to listen well. I want you to receive the word. I want you to look at them. Tingnan mo sila at makita mo sana yung, yung mukha ni Kristo nagsasalita to you. Let the Lord speak to you tonight. Enjoy soul food. You are my Manila Bulletin, Visit Hotel Nicro, Aqua Safe, Mirror Magazine, Cravings Cafe, Banco Filipino, Fort Bonifacio Development Corporation. Join the whole Christian world in observance of Good Friday. This portion is brought to you by Manila Bulletin, Visit Hotel Nicro, and Banco Filipino, Fort Bonifacio Development Corporation. Welcome back, and uh, the first guest that we brought for you to inspire you is someone who needs no introduction. She stole our hearts, the hearts of every one of this whole nation last year when she won first princess of Miss Universe pageant. And we'd like to welcome, I am the envy of the world now because I'm beside someone who's phenomenally beautiful, si Miriam Kimbao. Maraming salamat siya, Brother Bo. Magandang araw siya, at magandang araw din ho sa lahat ng mga nanonood. Yes, and... Uh, Alam mo, maraming hindi nakakaalam nito, Miriam. And they know that you're, you're this woman who appears on TV, one of the most refreshing faces in the morning, you know, <laughs> giving a, a beautiful day for, for everyone. But hindi nila alam na you have a very deep love for God. And I, I think this show is perfect to tell everyone, no? I, I, ipaskil natin sa buong mundo na ako'y uh, mahal ko ang Diyos. Mm -hmm. and, uh, alam mo, Bo, totoo yan, no? Uh, Naiiniisip ko nga madalas kung... Bakit ako dinala dito? Sa tingin ko, dahil ganun nga kabigat ang pagmamahal ko sa Diyos at uh, inialay ko sa Kanya buong buhay ko. So, yeah. Sabi ko sa Kanya na, Lord, make me your instrument. Um, use me, Lord. And uh, I think this is one way for uh, for Him to answer that prayer. May boses ka na ngayon, di ba? <laughs> Parang pinakikinggan ka na eh. Kasi, uy, si Miriam, tapos mag mag-share ka tungkol kay Lord. Biglang... Oh nga, no? no? Kasi if, if you didn't have this position, the, yung, yung dinagay ka ng Diyos dito. You are a member of Lingkod ng Panginoon. Ang Lingkod ng Panginoon. Yeah, this is a community of... Uh, it's a community of single Catholic professionals who come together every Friday yeah. just to pray and worship the Lord and share their lives with each other just to support one another in our journey towards the Kingdom. Galing. <laughs> Sarap makinig sa'yo. <laughs> Pero, pero balita ko dyan mm -hmm. sa community niyo, nung uh, nalaman nila si Miriam daw sa, sa newspaper eh, na nakalagay doon, you know, you won the pageant, tapos biglang uh, she's a member of Lingkod. Balita ko, dumami daw yung mga lalaki na nag-attend ng prayer meeting na yun. Dumami ba? <laughs> Hindi na kasi ako masyado naka-attend last year because uh, okay. of my busy schedule. Pero kung ganun nga nangyari, <laughs> edi mas maganda. Yeah. I can imagine, you know, ano yung nag nagbago ba talaga yung buhay mo since uh, last year? Malaking malaking pagbabago dahil Bago ako sumali ng binibini, ordinaryong tao lang ako na nakakapaglakad sa daan. Oh. Kahit ang sulok ako mapunta, hindi ako nakiki nakikita ng mga tao, hindi ako nakikilala. Yeah. Um, but did it like, uh, what did it do to your faith? Help it or, or made it more difficult? Well, it has challenged my faith a lot of times. So. Um, I find myself at times inside the, the, the bathroom or the, my own mm -hmm. bedroom, mm -hmm. crying my eyes out. Talaga? Crying out to God na, Lord, ang hirap, kakayanin wow. ko ba to? Is this really what you want me to do? Um, nahirapan ako dahil ang daming pressure mm -hmm. ng mga tao sa labas sa akin. Yeah. Bukod doon, pati yung, mga fam yung family members ko, meron ding pressure sa akin. When you're under that kind of stress or pressure, what, what do you do? Well, I pray. Well, yeah, I admit, yeah. no, there have been, siguro because of my busy schedule, um, nahirapan akong i-maintain yung prayer time ko. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Kung baga dati, inaabot ako ng 15-30 yeah, minutes yeah. of prayer time. Uh -oh. Ngayon, madaling araw ko, kailangan umalis 5 yeah. minutes, 3 yeah. minutes, minamadali ko. Minsan wala pa nga, dahil, nga sa, so <laughs> dahil sa sobrang uh, pagmamadali. No? Yeah. Siguro, yun yung dahilan kung bakit parang, nag-waver yung, uh, yung, yung, yung spiritual strength ko. Prayer. When you say prayer, that, that is very important for Miriam Kimba. Mm -mm. It is very important because it is what I call my spiritual nourishment. No? It is my, uh, my food for the yeah. soul. Um, it is, I think it is what keeps me strong yeah. in my faith. Maganda yung sinabi mo. Kasi so many people say na 
you know, I have a hard time praying, but I try to pray. And I tell them, yung katulad, you know, you were saying that, you know, yeah. you had such a busy schedule, pero you struggle to pray. And uh, I tell people na ganun yung experience. Ano mo yung struggle na yun? Tuwang-tuwa yung Diyos eh. Kasi some people say, I know, distracted ako sa prayer, or tantok ako sa prayer, ganyan, but I tried. You know, yung trying na yun is pleasing to God. And yeah. I just want to say that to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Pero, alam mo, nakakahiya nga. Kasi hindi ako ganun ka-faithful. At, uh, ako, nagihiya na ako sa Diyos na paglalapit ako. Lord, naku, sorry po, nakalimutan ko na naman. Pero, yeah. um, kahit pa paano, I'm just thankful that I'm being given the grace yeah. no, to remember and to repent for whatever unfaithfulness right. I have uh, I have been um, given or what But you took a retreat last weekend? Yes, uh, I had one last weekend in Tagaytay. Wow. And it was very um, fruitful because the whole two days of that retreat, we all we had was quiet time and prayer time, quality time. Nakuha mo na yung backlog mo? <laughs> Nakuha ko na. Kahit pa paano, alam mo, kahit nga busy yung schedule ko, yeah. pag merong mga opportunities na ganito, mm-hmm. talagang nililista ko na sa schedule yeah. ko para para naman doon ako bilid sa you say you're busy pero you're able to take what one weekend off for God di ba mm-hmm. and you're you're able to say no I'm not going to accept that show that TV blah blah you know mm-hmm. because I'm I'm going and spend time with God I remember one time when I had this struggle um, there was supposed to be a weekend in Boracay together mm-hmm. with uh, with GMA but then there was this invitation that came before that uh, on a Saturday to volunteer for um, for a certain cause, no, they asked me to be um, um, a major commentator for for yeah. a for a service. Yeah. Next struggle ako kasi parang Burakai. Uy, Burakai oh. eh. It was my dream to go there. Pero you haven't been there. Not yet. Better, not yet. Yeah. Pero so alam mo, matagal ko na siyang inaasam. Para oh. uy blessing a free trip to Burakai. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then I suddenly remembered na ko meron nga palang service on a Saturday. Yeah. I almost said yes to Burakai, <laughs> but then. Um, right. When I called them back, I said, um, "I'm sorry, I can't because mm-hmm. I um, I felt like since it Lent, mm-hmm. perhaps this is my form of sacrifice, more my offering to right. God to do service for Him instead of um, frolicking away in a yeah. in a beautiful beach." <laughs> and you will one day go to Malacca. Oh, one day yeah. it'll come. It'll come. Yeah. But but you're able to serve the Lord. Can you tell our fellow viewers one experience that you will? Never forget in your life an experience na doon mo naranasan yung galaw ng Diyos sa buhay mo. Pumili ka isa. Naku, I'm sure there are many, <laughs> I'm sure there are many, but maybe just one one beautiful experience you've had. Well, I remember when I was in the Miss Universe pageant. No? Right. I was feeling the pressure of the competition, mm-hmm. um, feeling the uh, the pressure of having to compare myself with other ladies there, mm-hmm. with the other delegates. They were... S- there were girls who were much prettier than I. Mm-hmm. They were taller than I. There were more eloquent, more articulate girls there. And I was beginning to feel insecure about myself. Because, oh simply because... Um, I know, when, when, kilala ko yung weaknesses ko. Yeah, when I look mm-hmm. at you, when you just enter the room, you know, everybody looks at you and it's, <laughs> it's a little bit difficult to imagine that. But anyway, go ahead. Well, it has <laughs> happened, no? Yeah. And uh, pakiramdam ko parang alayo-layo ko nun sa Diyos. Mm-hmm. Parang... Pakiramdam ko ang hinahina ng loob ko, uh, ang basta basta mahina yung pagkatao ko. Yeah. Kasi nga kinukumpara ko na yung sarili ko sa ibang tao. And then what happened was, I tried to call a friend here in the, in, in mm-hmm. the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Ang sabi niya, "Alam mo, okay lang kung hindi ka na manalo. Basta enjoy ka lang." Mm-hmm. You you told me um, before you left that uh, God is your strength. Learn to pray again. And then when he said that, I remembered, "Oh nga pala." Parang nakalimit ako ang Diyos ng panahon yun. And so after that phone call, I started to worship and pray the Lord. Mm. Um, <laughs> I, um, I, um, it was a free morning on that yeah, day. Yeah. So the whole day I was just singing praises to Him. I was yeah. just praising and worshiping Him. Yeah. And then I suddenly felt lighter. I suddenly Feeling. felt more sure of myself. Yeah. And I took off from there. After that, um, the, the incident of the fall, yeah. Yeah, everybody and knows. And hindi ko na inisip na kung ano magiging epekto nito sa sa performance because ko sa pageant. Because you were in that pageant. state. Because I I felt really good yeah. that God was inside me. Do you consider that yung yung pagbagsak? You know, people people in this country they heard about that. Uh, though, though they, they they didn't see it in TV, I think. No? But uh, they heard about it and then they still saw you win. Ako ano yun eh? Parang it's a big analogy for me. 
na pag nagapa ka. Mm -hmm. Pag may failure ka sa buhay, hindi mm -hmm. ibig sabihin failure na buhay mo. Do you do you see that also in your life? Other other seeming failures that mm -hmm. uh, meron ka sa buhay mo and then you, you realize you know, God was there to fix you up. Mm -hmm. well, you know, I've fallen many times even after that Miss Universe incident. Literally, na ako. <laughs> okay. Or figuratively, yeah. um, in, sp yeah. in spirit. No? Um, just a couple of months ago, I was feeling really down. Because once again, I was feeling the pressure of, of, of having to meet with the expectations of people. Mm -hmm. Kailangan nakapostura ako palagi, mm. kailangan maganda yung suot ko palagi. Yeah. Tapos pagbababa ako sa taxi, parang nakakahiya yata. <laughs> Di ba? Kasi yeah. they were expecting me siguro to be driving a, what, a luxurious car or what. Mm. And I could feel that pressure. Kahit ako, ina-expect yeah. ko na rin uh -huh. sarili ko na ganun. Yeah. Because so, that's the world you're Yes, because that was uh, the world that I was moving in. No? Yeah. Inisip ko, you know what? All, wants me, all God wants me to be is be happy. And being simple Totoyan. makes me happy. Being one with, with the brothers and sisters in community yeah. and helping, helping them do service makes me happy. So why not do more of that yeah. than yeah. rather myself with having to compare... To have a nice car yes, and all Yes, and keep things, up yeah. with the Joneses. Yeah. Oh. And so um, it was a very good um, time for that realization. Yeah. And once yeah. again, you know, I was filled I again with the Spirit and I felt so good. confident. May you never change, Miriam. Hi, na ko sana, Lord. With yeah, God. and when you're doing movies and doing all sorts of things, so be sana hindi ka magbago. Sana you remain simple in love with God na yung love life mo <laughs> sa Panginoon, sa Panginoon. ay maging uh, malakas. Thank you very much. Maraming Miriam. salamat mo. Maraming salamat sa pag-inspite niyo sa akin dahil ito na pagkakataon ko to proclaim God's name. Yeah, more of, more of you. <laughs> telling, telling about people God's love. Thank you, Bo. We'll be back. Don't go away. Lucid Hotel Nico, Manila Bulletin, Godiva Skin Whitening Products, Christian Beach Resort and Hotel, Cravings Cafe, Wella Philippines, Banco Filipino, Fort Bonifacio Development Corporation. Join the whole Christian world in observance of Good Friday. This portion is brought to you by Manila Bulletin, Ducit Hotel Nico, and Banco Filipino, Fort Bonifacio Development Corporation. Welcome back. Nandito ulit po tayo. And uh, the second person I want you to get to know and uh, get to know in the sense that you, magugulat kayo eh. We're, we're talking about spiritual life. This is uh, soul food. Is spiritual life pala tong taong ito. You know, he is very well known. He is someone you see him in TV at naririnig natin sa, sa radyo. Maaasahan nyo pag may emergency. The one and only, Arnold Flavio. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Father Bo. Uh, yes. My privilege. Gulat ako eh. Una, Salamat ah. Una kong tanong, ba't ako? <laughs> may nagsabi sa akin, nag-a-attend ka ng prayer meeting namin eh. At ang problema ko, nung hinahanap ko siya, laging, laging wala. nag escape at uh, ang tanong ko, bakit mo ako iniiwasan, Arnold? Hindi siguro. Siguro <laughs> lagi lang ako nasa likod. Yan. Tama. Kasi nga, ano eh, like, pag maaten ako mas, uh -oh. kung hindi ako nasa gilid, nasa likod. Una kasi dahil nahiyaw kay Lord, para bang pag dumaan ka na, uh -oh. distract ba yung tao? Uh -oh. Si ano, si ano? Eh, yeah. nahiyaw ako. Yeah. Tawang ko. But it's good for people to know that. No? Yeah. You attend. Si Arnold Clavio nag-aaten ng prayer meeting, nagsisimba. Yeah. Your faith is important to you. Of course. And uh, even for your job? Kailangan. Uh, sabi nga nila, life-threatening to eh. May mga death threats. Sabi hindi, ala ka bang bodyguard? Bakit? So, eh, ano, nasa taas si Igan. Yeah. Sabi yung ganun. Uh, siya yung nagdi-decide. No? Kwento mo nga, Arnold, yung mga, ano, yung mga tukso mo sa, sa trabaho. Meron ba? At uh, anong, anong panlaban mo? Um, bumagsak ako. Like sa trabaho. No? Ang dami dyan, trainees eh. Mm -mm. Diba? Um, kasambahin ka niyan. Dahil akala nila, mabibigyan mo sila ng permanent job. Yan. Mm. So, bumagsak ako. 
actually yun yung pinaka uh, hindi ko makalimutan part ng married married life ko kasi uh -huh. nagkahiwalay kami ng wife ko really yeah. okay. for for a year wow uh, pinagpalit ko siya doon uh -huh. uh -huh. so nangyari nung di uh, realization din yan then after a year wala walang buti Bili ba kasi Arnold? Sinundo ko ulit. Sa saludo ako sa honesty mo and I'm sure a lot of people will take heart with that. Eh? Yung maliit mong sharing na yan. Uh, ano eh, gusto kong... Kasi dami ko kasama sa industriya eh. Uh, para bang once na bahagi ka na ng broadcast industry, uh -huh. pag hindi ka ng babae, di ba? <laughs> parang out ka dyan. Parang gano'n. Uh -huh. You have to fit somehow. Yeah. Eh, dumata, du, dumaan ako sa gano'n na failure din eh. So, gusto kong ma-share ma, ma din na wala, walang buting idudulot. Mauubos ang yaman mo. Uh, hindi ka makakatulog. Oh, oh. Kaya after a year, sabi ko, kailangan sunduin ko na sila. Kasi umuwi eh. Hmm. So, nanligaw uli ako para buhin wow. uli yung family. Sa family, kayong lahat, you know, you're with the Lord. Uh... Mm -hmm. And uh, you're doing all, all sorts of things. Uh, yeah. Ang isa sa realization ko, umatinda ko ng isang occasion. Mm -hmm. Hiwalay na ako nun, ha? Mm -hmm. Umatinda ko ng isang occasion. Walang pumansin sa akin. Kundi yung nag-iisa ko lang na anak na, yung eldest ko, yung daughter mm -hmm. ko. Yung parang, ba? Sakit nun. Sakit nun, oh. Sakit nun, oh. Sakit nun, oh. So, kailangan sa akin na rin manggaling. Total, ako rin ang may kasalanan. Mm -hmm. oh. And God forgive. Ay, yun ang pinakamatinding virtue siguro binigay sa akin <laughs> na parating nasa isip ko na He say forgive me, Father uh -huh. na pag bumagsak i-admit mo humility uh -huh. Ang daming siguro nanonood yan This is a good Friday and it's a time na bumalik tayo Tapos marami nanonood na siguro nakikita na na sarili na sa isa sa iyo, Arnold eh. Boy, Para akong uh, prodigal son uh -huh. yan, Hinahanap ko yung sarili kong ano eh Sarili, kala ko masaya dun eh Diba? Oops. Pogi ako sa kanya eh. Diba? Pogi mo. Diba? Uh, Kinumpare ko. Oh. Siyempre, nandun yung evil. Ano? Uh, may problema ka. Imbis na isolve ko yung problema rito, oh. naghanap ako. Yan. Yeah. Ang mangyayari pala, pag nagtagal, same problem din eh. Diba? That's true. That's Tsaka, true. hindi ko alam pero yung mga nakiki-affair, no? Oh. Sa umpisa lang na akala nila, mahal din sila eh. Pero? Ano pala yun eh? Pag nagtatago, masarap. Pag alam na ng lahat, nawawala na rin ng challenge yung, yung, yung other woman, nagiging same person na rin siya. No? So, imbis na i-solve mo siya head on, wala eh. Marunong pa rin yung Diyos? Ay, marunong. Biro mo, dalawa naging kaaway kung gano'n. <laughs> Balik ka na lang, di ba? And, and I admire your wife, you know, for being able to forgive you. I, I love her that much na parang best, kasi... After that, ano pang pwede kong gawin, no? Uh -oh. Para compensate yung... Uh -oh. Naghanap akong bahay. Bahay at lupa na para bang ibibigay ko sa kanya. Uh -oh. Kasi nakikitira lang kami nun sa parents ah. ko. Mas nag-apartment yeah. kami. So, uh -oh. sabi ko, kailangan yung to own na. Uh -oh. Napunta nga ako somewhere sa Bulacan. Mm -hmm. Tapos, doon ako nakabili ng mura-mura, house and lot. Uh -oh. Yun yung gift ko sa kanya na para bang okay, magbabako na talaga ako. Uh -oh. At ang maganda ron, dun sa community na yun, dun ko na-meet yung ibang community na member ng Light of Jesus. Ayun. So, tuloy-tuloy na. Tuloy-tuloy na yun hanggang ngayon. Ang so, galing, parang bang dinala ko ron. Oh, hindi lang bahay na physical, pero bahay Ay, na spiritual mm -hmm. ang nangyari sa iyo. Ang sarap. Galing. Hanggang ngayon, sarap. That's beautiful. Kasi bata pa lang ako, parang may confusion na sa oh. spiritual ano ko eh. Oh. Meron ka bang old life na masasabi mo dati nung bata ka na? Hindi. Anong bata ako? Pag uh, Sunday, oh. umaga, kasama ako sa Protestant Church. Mm. Kasi yung grandmother ko, sinasama ako eh. Uh -oh. Sa hapon, doon ako sa Catholic Church. So, dalawa yung faith ko. <laughs> Protestant sa umaga. Uh -oh. Catholic ako sa hapon. Yeah. Pero hanggang sa, nag-high school ako, active ka sa... naging active ako sa Youth Marian uh -oh. Crusade. Second year pa lang ako ginawa ang president. Uh -oh. So, grabe yun eh. Everyday rosary. Everyday confession. Mm. Nag nagkaroon ako ng parang call, no? Na pasukin yung priesthood. Oo, uh oo. -oh. Uh -oh. Pero after graduation, bumagsak ako doon sa uh, parang audition, ganyan. Eh. Mm -hmm. So, nalito na ako kung saan ang pupunta. Mm -hmm. So, nung time na yun, sabi nga, many are called but you're chosen. Nagtampo ako sa kanya. Kasi gusto ko mag-serve eh. Oh. 
Tapos hindi niya pinasok dun sa congregation na gusto ko, yung oh. Youth Marian Crusade. May opera ko sa Don Bosco, ganyan. Hmm. Pero ayoko, sabi ko, dito lang gusto ko. <laughs> yan. So, anong nangyari, nagwala ako. Nagrebelde ako, parang gano'n. Pero bumalik ka rin? Ay, syempre, walang pinakamasarap <laughs> kundi ka-feeling siya. And you're serving the Lord now? Ngayon, oo. Um, Not as a priest. But, Ay, hindi. But in, in, a, in, a, in a different way. And in the way that God wanted you. Mm -hmm. um, like, kun kunyari, may mga, may mga istorya kami. Uh -oh. Hopeless na sila, no? Uh -oh. uh, kasi ang dasal ko, eh, favorite ko kasi si St. Francis, di ba? Mm -hmm. The Assisi. Pareho tayo. Pareho. Make me an instrument of yeah. your love. Yan. So sabi ko, yung sa trabaho ngayon, I meet a lot of people, ganyan. Right. Na, uh, iba ibang klase. So, kung, kung wala kang kakampi, hindi mo hindi ka pwedeng mag-share, eh, di ba? Uh -huh. Kaya niyo po 'yan, like biro mo mga victim of rape, di ba? Uh -huh. Massacre. Paano uh -huh. mo iko? Paano mo sila iko mm. kung di ba? Wala ka ring parang kung gira, trabaho lang 'yon, interview tapos. Or, eh, scoop ka lang di uh -huh. alaga na eh. Pero nakikiano ko eh, sympathy sa nila. Kaya sabi ko, the Lord provides uh, in his time, uh -huh. sabi ko. Um pag subok doon lang ako, yan. Doon ako naniniwala na yung mission natin sa buhay Alam mo, trabaho man yan, you know. Akala ng mga tao, pagpare ka lang, o madre, doon ka lang maglilingkod sa oh. Diyos, you know. Every person that we meet, kailangan may, may bigay tayong, masking ngiti eh, mm -hmm. no? Effective yun, no? Isang salita lang na makakapagbigay ng comfort o blessing sa kanila. Yun ang ginagawa mo, Arnold. Mm -hmm. Maski sa TV o sa radyo. Oh. Natutuwa ako ngayong, ano, ngayong programang to na ikaw ang ini-interview. Ano? Alam mo, tatama ako. <laughs> Dati ako nag interview Kasi ngayon lang ako na-interview tungkol pa sa ayo kasi eh, ano eh. Ayaw ko yung nilalabas ba yung uh -huh. yung fate mo, ganyan. Kasi baka sabihin, di ba, plastic, ganyan. Pero sabi ko nga, eh, minsan may mga nagsasalita about, kunyari sa isang barkadahan, uh -huh. uh, may green jokes, binibida mo yun eh. Uh -huh. Bakit itong something na very fruitful, uh -huh. na matututo, uh -huh. hindi ko ibida. Dati uh -huh. nahihiya ako. Uh -huh. Ayaw ko. Kaya lang, yun nga, yung matin na ako ng marriage encounter sa community mo, uh -huh. Uh, doon ko una sinabi na oh, may I'm sorry doon eh sa lahat ng umatin no? I'm sorry na hindi ako naging mabuting asawa noong una so, pero ngayon I'm trying no? pag kristyano ka meron ka mga struggles at, at pareho tayong lahat no? we're, we're all the same we're, we're, we have faith minsan bumabagsak tayo yun yung sinasabi mo forgiving God yung ating Diyos yan o oh, at hindi uh, <laughs> <yun> ako eh <laughs> kaya lang dito maganda lang yun nga um, kahit pa paano um Kasi yung ibang tao, ilalagay ka sa pedestal, ano? Para yeah, bang, uh, pag inangat ka, perfect ka. Hindi naman. Hindi, eh, di ba? So, uh -huh. dun sa mga nasaktan ko, sorry, ah. <laughs> <laughs> siguro ito, after this interview talagang, at yung mapapanood niya dyan, mababago na siguro, takbo na buhay ko. <laughs> no? Mababago na, ano? Ah, it's good. It's so good. Salamat, Arnold. At uh, mm. binigyan, ko, binigyan mo kami ng, ano? Itong, uh, pinagbigyan mo kami. Again, uh, uh, hindi, wala. Hindi ako nag-doubt, ah. Uh. <laughs> Kaya lang, tanong nga ba, Takko, ganyan. Pero gusto ng Diyos. Kaya gusto ko ng Diyos. Ay, thank you. Salamat. Oh, pag tinatanong ako, may mga, mga trainees, di ba? May mga interview ngayon. Ah. Sino daw ang ano, uh, dream na gusto ko interview mm. Consistent ako eh, si Mama Mary. Talaga. Yan, o. Oh, tatanong ko kasi sa kanya eh. Anong tatanong yun? Ba't mo inaccept? Mm. Di ba? Mm -mm. Ba't mo inaccept? Ang dami niyang option eh. Oh. Tayo kasi ang dami natin tanong eh. Ah. Pero siya hindi eh, di ba? Yes, Totos Lord. Totos to yeah. All yours, Lord. Oh. So gusto ko. Tsaka, tatanong, ba't di sa akin magpakita? <laughs> Oo, oh, maging ano ako, visionary. Kasi, babasa ako, sabi ko, bakit puro remote areas, mga anak na mga magsasaka, uh, di ba? May dahil na yun. Gusto ko magpakita ka sa akin. <laughs> Tapos, tatalikuran ko na lahat. Sarap. Pero yeah. hindi. Ang, 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 I feel, I believe, no? Yung mga sa, sa buhay natin ngayon, nagpapakita. Si yeah. Mother Mary, nagpapakita ang Diyos. Mm. Pero hindi katulad ng mga visionary, yeah. no? Pero sa mga simpleng bagay. Ay, Shem. Katulad ngayon, nanonood kayo ng TV, akala nyo ba hindi nagsasalita ang Diyos ngayon uh, through Arnold Clavio, yung kanyang buhay nagda, na nadapa siya. Pero ngayon, tingnan mo, nagsastruggle, patuloy na sumusunod sa Panginoon. Salamat, Arnold. I thank Let's, you. And, uh, thank you. <laughs> I hope uh, you you continue serving the Lord in, mm -hmm. in the way that I have called you. Kasi ang naisip ko na siya parati, ang image ko sa kanya is yung laughing Christ. Okay. Kasi di ba sinasabi oh. nila sa akin para bang mapatawa, oh. ganyan. Uh, the, joy, yun, eh. the joy of God is in you. May you have more joy uh, in, this, in this program. Okay. Manila Bulletin. 
Duzit Hotel Nico, Aqua Safe, Cactus Billiard Hall and Grill Restaurant, Maud Magazine, Cravings Cafe, Wella Philippines, Banco Filipino, Fort Bonifacio Development Corporation. Join the whole Christian world in observance of Good Friday. This portion is brought to you by Dusit Hotel Nico and Manila Bulletin. Nandito po ulit tayo sa Soul Food. At baka sabihin nyo, puro showbiz yung mga bisita natin. Si Miriam, si Arnold. Ngayon po, isang ordinary couple who loves God. Siya po isang attorney at naglilingkod po sa Diyos. Pa, katulad po nating lahat. And I'd like you to welcome with us si... Uh, Mr. Jun Sison and his wife Mila. Welcome po sa Soul Food. Salamat po. Salamat. And you know, I attorney uh, ang uh, sinabi ko po sa audience attorney po kayo. Alam niyo po kahapon I was talking to a young lawyer. He just passed from uh, so sa bar. Tapos sinabi niya, natatakot siya. No, kasi he was a Christian. Talagang uh, mahal niya yung Diyos eh. Pero sinabi niya, parang nakakatakot ngayon na lawyer na ako. Alam ko. Uh, mahirap maging lawyer at kristyano at the same time. Ano sa tingin nyo, uh, Tito Jun? If I may call you, uh, Tito Jun. Dato uh, yan po, sa practice ng profession ng isang lawyer, mm -hmm. talagang minsan mayroong conflict yung talagang tunay na lawyering. No? Because some lawyers, uh -oh. in their desire to win cases, mm -hmm. has to use some, some method or technique to achieve that point, no? Totoo ba? Totoo yan, totoo yan. Saka yung, how about yung what we hear in, well, yung mga sabi-sabi na na, pag mga yung judiciary natin, uh, do they really, is it really, dif is it really that rampant that, you know, you have to give a certain envelope and, you know? Sa tingin ko, hindi naman ganun karampant. Oo. Oh. Kaya nga, Pero to, mayroon? Mayroon. Kaya lang, uh, to start with, there are lawyers that are bad losers, no? Mm -hmm. Pag natalo yung kaso nila, sasabi na, natalo tayo, sasabi sa klente kasi linagyan nila yung judge, ah, no? Okay. So they themselves yes, are destroying yes. the judiciary. Okay. May mga bad losers na uh, uh, To start with, dapat kung losing case ka, sasabihin mo na sa kliyente mo, <laughs> medyo walang panalo ito. Hindi yeah. yung sasabihin mong panalo, no? Yeah. <laughs> Wala pala. Uh, right. Tita Mila, and uh, I, I hear that uh, you're all, both of you are members of uh, Magis Deo. Yes, that's right. And what, what does that mean again? Magis Deo community it means more for God. Kanda ng pangala, yeah. no? Mm -hmm. More for God, yeah. Magis Deo. Uh -huh. How long have you been with this uh, oh, Catholic had, community? Yeah, we have been with Magis since its start, since its birth. Did, did you found way the community? Back, way back in 1987. Kaya po nagsimula? Yes, we were one of the founders. Wow. Yeah. 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 And uh, does your faith, uh, Tito Jun, does your faith have anything to do now? Does, does it become real in, in your business, in your profession? I, I, I believe so. I mm. believe so. That uh, in my practice of profession, maraming mga temptation dyan. Uh -oh. Mayroong mga klienting gusto niyang gagawin mo ito. Mm -hmm. And aside from the fact, for instance, na medyo may legitimacy ang kinapagawa sa iyo, but if it involves a moral issue, I, mm -hmm. I, I try to, to use the moral issue rather That's than good. what is really legal. Yeah. No? Oh. Alam nyo, mga, mga ka kaibigan na nanonood sa TV, magandang marinig yan. Na th there is hope for our country sa mga simpleng mga tao na mm -hmm. you're a lawyer, you're, you're a clerk, you're a doctor, you're <clears throat> a farmer, or whatever position or profession. Pero... Pag may faith ka, mm -hmm. you try to actualize it in your profession. Mm -hmm. May pag-asa yung bayan. No? There's, there's, a, there's hope for our country because there are Christian individuals. Mm -hmm. maski, maski walang malaking movement. No? Mm -hmm. na, it, in fact, the movement should start right, right here um, where we are. As, as a matter of fact, uh, Bua, sa tingin ko, each, each one of us uh, should start in our own little corner, mm -hmm. you know, hoping that uh, other people will see it and yes. other people will emulate what right. we are doing. 
Have, have you been like this as always your whole life, uh, trying to serve, trying to love? Uh, well, uh, I, am I uh, opening from some <laughs> something right. that Dita Mila does not know? <laughs> no, she knows everything. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, I, I would say that, uh, oh, 15 years ago when I was starting my career, uh, uh -oh. I was more driven by what we call trying to achieve something, uh -oh. trying to... Uh, uh, be on the race, mm. so to speak. Is there anything wrong with achieving? Well, in a sense, because if you are attached yourself very much to material things, mm -mm. and you try to, to get it, you know, no matter how it costs, there's something wrong with it already. Mm. In other words, there is nothing more peaceful in yourself if you try to detach yourself from all these materials. Very strong words, yeah. huh? especially now uh, we are saturated with, with the world and all the options we have, yeah, you know, yeah. kung, kung anong classing mga material things that are mm. offered to us. Mm. And, and you're saying detach is the secret to peace? That's the secret of peace because you can never achieve peace for as long as you are attached to something. Oh. I, I noticed, uh, Tita Mili, to looking at you now, you know, you don't have, I mean, Forgive me for saying this, but sometimes when I look at women, they they look like Christmas trees. But <laughs> you you you're very simple, you know, and uh, there there's a sense of uh, uh, happiness in you. Your marriage is very strong. I I see it. You ask her. <laughs> <laughs> Has it been like this before, or did something happen to make it stronger? Yeah. Well, ever since we decided uh, to put uh, God in the center of our lives. Everything has changed. So yeah, no. yeah, because everything is based on the presence of God within our midst, mm -mm. and when God is there, then love is there. Mm -mm. There's so much love among all of us, the members of the family, our friends, yeah, yeah. our community. I just got married. Um, so in fact, I have a new baby boy, and uh, mahirap, mahirap maging magbagbuo ng isang pamilya at mag, you know, I courted my my wife uh, some time back. And now the ang policy ko sa sarili ko, I have to court her every day, even as I'm married. No? It's really a challenge. But tam maganda yung sinabi niyo po na kung nandun yung Dios sa centro ng pamilya. Mm. Now, Tito Jun, you you mentioned achievement, money, etc., all these things. Now you're getting it from detachment. I also kanina I was talking to you. You do a lot of service, mm. a lot of uh, yeah. uh, paglilingkod sa Dios. Yung service ko naman, boys not only in the community, but I find my service to the Lord, even in my work, even in my work. Gayaan, we will give you a story in my own profession. I have sometimes, sometimes, I've been talking about it, because I've been talking about it, because I've been talking about it. I've been talking about it as a stockbroker. Nang isang araw pumunta sa akin sa opisina, gusto niya ipademanda sa akin ng isang tao na sinasabi niya malaking utang sa mm -hmm. stock brokerage dahil sa stock transaction. So ako naman instead na didemanda ko kag yung tao, pinatawag ko mm -hmm. ang yung taong didemanda. At in-interview ko kung ano talaga nangyayari. Ang nanalaman ko, yeah, that's, 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 I mean very few lawyers will do that. Nang nalaman ko, nanalaman ko po na itong tao na ito, isang ordinaryong empleyado. Oh. Ininvest niya yung kanyang life saving oh, oh. doon sa stock brokerage with authority for a stock broker oh, oh. to trade for him right. and so forth. Sabi ko, naitindihan mo ba yung pinirmahan mo? Mm -hmm. Sabi niya sa akin, wala akong kamalay-malay sa mga Nakuha. stock market. Yan. Basta pinapirma ako, pumirma ako. So, sa madaling salita, kumbinsido ako na yung taong yun, walang kasalanan. Innocent. Innocent. Okay. The following day after interviewing that person, uh -oh. tinawa ko yung kliyente ko, uh -oh. sabi ko. Alam mo, sabi ko, I will not file the case. Wow. Sabi ko. Uh, I believe, sabi ko, na this person is innocent. E nagalit sa akin. Mm -hmm. Tinerminate akong lawyer. Wow. Tinerminate akong lawyer. Hindi, hindi, hindi ko na naging kliyente. Sabi ko, it's okay. Uh -huh. So okay. long as what I'm doing is right. right. So sa madaling salita, kumuha sila ng isang 
abogado, itong uh -oh. stock brokerage. At pinatuluyan nilang dinimanda itong wow. tao. So, wow. I'd like to defend that person, but yeah. I cannot for ethical standard, uh -oh. no? Kasi uh -oh. ako yeah. abogado na. No? Alam mo, ginawa ko, nag-hire ako ng lawyer to defend him. Mm. And ako pa nagkagasta, no? And eventually, he was... He won. He won the case. Great. So, eh, yung sinasabi ko sa'yo na... That's a beautiful story. Yeah. I, I, I just wish, you know, all lawyers will, will have that sense of truth and morality sa puso nila. Ang ganda. Yeah. You, you, really, you really rescue the, the poor man. And That's the, right. Kaling. That's very moving, very touching. And, and I, I think you're inspiring a lot of people who are listening to you now. In whatever profession or, or job you have, you can always stand for the truth. And then you lose a few bucks. Yeah, of course. Ah, uh, matatalo ka in a sense financially, pero yung yung ano naman doon, yung reward yeah, in the yeah. spirit, self-satisfaction mo that you're yeah. able to help somebody. May nagawa kang tama. Yeah. Kaling. Right. It's beautiful. Aside from that, you also do a lot. You're a you're a, a philanthropist. Someone uh, well, who, who gives love and and help and support to other people. Uh, well, ito naman eh whatever I have, eh, nagaling na rin sa kanya yan. So, mm -hmm. binabalik lang natin, no. Uh -oh. As a matter of fact, kulang ba ngayon binabalik natin, no. Your your service, your service in your job, saka yung service mo sa, sa poor, I think is the source also of your joy, the the happiness. I think we want to announce to the world na yung kasiyahan at uh, kapayapaan na hindi nang gagaling sa pera. Yeah. Hindi nang gagaling sa achievement at sa power, yeah. but uh, the happiest people in the world are those who, who love. And the, uh, I can see that in you. In right. your in your yes. family? It is always a pleasure to, to give something to those who are here. And, and to help them. Not, yeah. not only in a short term, but probably in a long term basis. Wonderful. Maraming salamat. <laughs> Thank salamat you very much for being part of this program, and I'm sure you've touched many, many people. Salamat pa. Okay. Thank you. We'll be back. Lucid Hotel Nico. Manila Bulletin. Godiva Skin Whitening Product. Christian Beach Resort and Hotel. Wella Philippines. Banco Filipino. Fort Bonifacio Development Corporation. Join the whole Christian world in observance of Good Friday. This portion is brought to you by Dusit Hotel Nico and Manila Bulletin. The next thing we will show you is a little project na sinimula namin five years ago. Ang pangalan ng project, Anawim. The Hebrew, the poor of the Lord. A little background. When I was a small kid, I fell in love with God and Ang unang libro na uh, nakatouch sa buhay ko, yung buhay ni St. Francis of Assisi. Yung buhay niya na minahal niya yung pinakamahirap. Yung mga ketongin, talagang ginakap niya, pinaramdam niya yung pag-ibig ng Diyos sa pinakadukha. And you know, I was 13 years old nung binabasa ko yung libro na yun. And I told myself, you know, it would be wonderful if I'll do that. You know, as a young boy, you know, 13, 14, 15 years old, naalala ko, naglalakad ako sa Kubaw. May makita akong bata doon. And uh, sasabihin ko, Lika, uwi ka. And uh, I, I would bring him to my house. Pakainin siya, bigyan ng bagong damit, you know. And then uh, after that, I'd see another old man bring him to the house. Ang problema, problema lang, nagagalit yung nanay ko. Dahil kung ano-anong nawawala sa bahay namin, uh, ninanakawang kami. You know, but in my heart, hindi nawala yun. Yung pangarap na sana... I could bring home the poor and give them a home, give them a place where they could be sheltered and cared for and feel, ha? maramdaman sana nila na may Diyos na nagmamahal. Well, five years ago it happened without any money except, except a vision from our hearts. We, we decided to build this place, a five-hectare property in Montalban, and it is a dream come true. There are many abandoned elderly people, no longer abandoned, because they have a home 
and there are volunteers who care for them, who love them, who feed them. We take care of all their needs, medical needs, you know, and we spend about, oh, 250,000 pesos a month, and we do not have any foreign donors. We just live by faith, and we experience the love of God. You know, before, before, you, wa before, you, before you watch this, this, this scene, I want, you, I want you to know that, that it is an act of loving, one face, one heart at a time. This is the message of Holy Week. This is the message of Lent. If God has filled your heart, pinununa ng Diyos ng pag-ibig yung buhay mo, ikalat mo, ibigay mo sa iba. Maybe not through Anuim, maybe through other organizations, maybe the poor that you pass by. When you wake up tomorrow morning, when you go to work, when, when, when you do, you know, wherever you go, there might be some poor people there. I, I, I'm not saying, you know, give right away. Maybe you can just smile. Maybe there are poor relatives that you have. Brothers and sisters, ikalat mo ang pag-ibig ng Diyos na nasa puso mo na. One person at a time, one heart at a time. That's the message of Anawim. Madalas, sa bilis ng buhay natin, hindi na natin napapagsun na nakikita ang mga muka ng mga mahihirap na nasa paligid natin. We no longer hear their cry for love we no longer feel their deep hunger for someone to hold them. We can be so absorbed with our own petty problems na pinapalaki natin. We end up forgetting that there are people around us whose problems are a million times bigger. In Anawim, we wanted to see these people, to touch them, to listen to them. Nalaman namin na may mga matatanda sa ating lipunan na wala ng mga pamilya. Some of them were rejected by their very own families, even by their own children. Yung iba, talagang namatay na lang ang kanilang mga mahal sa buhay, kaya't sila'y naulila. For these old people, Anawin has become their only home. It will also be their last. Ang munting pangarap namin sa Anawin ay sa huling araw ng kanilang mapait na buhay ay matikman nila, maski minsan, ang tunay na pagmamahal. Napapawi ang kanilang lungkot kung binibisita sila, kinakausap at kinakalinga. At kahit hindi na nabibisita sila ng kanilang tunay na mga anak, dinadalaw naman sila ng mga ibang bata, ibang kaibigan. Katulad dito, ang chikiting patrol barkada ng GMA pumunta minsan at nagbigay ng pagkain para sa kanila. Ang Anawim sa Hebreo ay the poor of the Lord ay sinumulan ng Light of Jesus Community. Nag-aalaga rin sila ng mga iilang orphans at ang mentally and physically handicapped. Lahat sila anak ng Diyos. At naniniwala ako, lahat sila pinadala ng Diyos sa atin para tayo ay lumago sa pag-ibig. Mga kaibigan, totoo, madilim yung mundo. Maraming problema. Instead of blaming God, instead of saying, God, bakit mo pinapahintulo to? Alam nyo, brothers and sisters, instead of doing that, let's ask ourselves the question, ano ang magagawa ko? In best of, instead of cursing the darkness, light a candle. Do your part. The little that you can do, do it and do it with love. That is the purpose for your life and for my life. Manila Bullet, Lucid Hotel Nico, Godiva Skin Whitening Product, Cactus Billiard Hall and Grill Restaurant, Banco Filipino, Fort Bonifacio Development Corporation. Join the whole Christian world in observance of Good Friday. This portion is brought to you by Manila Bulletin, Ducit Hotel Nico.
Brothers and sisters, this is the time of the great Jubilee, a time where we relive once again how beautiful God's love is to us. 2,000 years ago, Jesus came and he died for you. That's what we remember and that's what we relive. Flexi, maraming salamat, you have a beautiful voice. And I'm here with a group of friends and we are going to pray. We're going to ask for the great jubilee, not only to be a song, not only to be a prayer, but we're going to ask God to make the jubilee totoo sa ating buhay. We're going to pray for healing. We're going to pray for blessing. I'm, I'm here with a group of friends, family, people like you who have needs. Mga pangangailangan natin sa buhay for our families, for our relationships, for our work, for our business. We need blessing. And what better time to pray than now? Mga kapatid, join me, join us as we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Panginoon, nandito kami. Hinihiling namin na sana lumapit ka. Ibigay mo sa amin, Panginoon, ang aming mga pangangailangan sabagat ikaw ang aming tatay na nagmamahal. Laging Iniisip ang aming kabutihan 24 hours a day thinking about us. Panginoon, alam namin ang aming mga pangalan ay nakaukit sa iyong palad at aming mga muka ay nakalarawan, Panginoon, sa iyong puso. Alam na alam mo, Panginoon, ang aming mga pangangailangan. Kaya sa oras na ito, itinataas namin, Panginoon. Unang-una, ang aming spiritual needs na sana lumapit pa kami ng, ng lubusan sa iyo. Sana, Panginoon, umalab ang aming puso sa aming pag-ibig para sa iyo. Sana lumakas ang aming desisyon na sumunod sa iyo habang buhay. At maski kami mga bata pa o matanda, lahat kami, Panginoon, susunod kayo, susunod kami sa iyo habang buhay. Until the last day of our life, until the last breath, we will live for you. Bless, Lord, that Spirit will need in us. Pangalawa, Panginoon, meron kami mga pangangailangan sa aming mga relationships, sa aming pamilya. Sana, Panginoon, yung mga conflicts sa aming pamilya. Heal mo, Panginoon. Strengthen our love for one another between husbands and wives, between parents and children. Heal our broken relationships. Bind them, Lord, in your love. In Jesus Christ's name, Lord, pangatlo, pinataas namin ang aming mga physical needs. Lord, merong sa aming dito may sakit. Hinihiling namin, Panginoon, for your healing. Let your power of healing touch every cell of our bodies, every organ. Father God, let your healing come for those who are, who are, who are watching it over television. I pray for the healing love of Jesus to flow to everyone who needs healing right now. Lahat ng mga may sakit. Let the healing power of Jesus flow to you now, to your home, wherever you are. The Lord can reach down to you right now. Believe and trust in the power of God to heal you. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ's name. Let the healing love of God flow. Lord, meron, meron pa kami mga ibang mga pangangailangan. Lord, there are, we have financial needs. We need your blessing for our work, for our business. Lord, be the Lord of every area of our life. Father God, come and bless us. Bless us financially for those who have needs right now. Lord, I pray that all debts be canceled. I pray that we will be able to pay all our debts. I pray that you would bless us materially so that we will be generous to those who are in need. Father God, I know that you are here. Alam ko, Panginoon, pinapakinggan mo ang aming mga panalangin at sasagutin mo sa pangalan ni Kristo Jesus sa tamang oras at sa pinakatamang paraan because you are a God who will always give us the best, nothing else but the best. And this we pray in Jesus Christ's name and through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We pray to her to intercede for us. Sabay, sabay. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And all this we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wasn't that good? Brothers and sisters, we pray that you were blessed. Tayo na dumarating.